Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot leg. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happened to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. So today, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the problem that these Chevrolet Cavaliers have, where when you're driving down the road and you apply the brakes, the rear of the car drops down and those rear brakes lock up on you. So I'm going to give you a little insight. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what you could possibly do to fix that problem. Alright guys, so here we are, <coughs> we're at the scene of the crime back here at the rear wheel. Now, I'm going to be pointing you in the right direction. Now, I, I know this can benefit some people. I know a lot of you guys, when I just talk about it, you don't like it. Well, just bear with me here. I'm, I'm pointing you in the right direction. This will benefit you, I promise. Okay. So basically what we're going to do here is you got 19 millimeter wheel lug nuts. You're going to remove those, of course, lift the car up, put it up on jack stands. And we have a drum sitting back here. You're going to want to make sure your e-brake is not applied, so in the down position, not pulled up. And then you're going to remove that drum. Now, there's three different things I've heard. I'm going to tell you the first one, that you don't have to remove your shoes. The other two do require you removing your shoes. Now, the first thing that I've heard is you can take sandpaper and you can sand the top of the shoes, the tops of the shoes right there. The other thing is the edges of the shoes. Apparently those bite into the drum and that's what causes the lock up. This is what I've heard. Also, I've heard that the aftermarket shoes don't do as well as like the, the GM, the manufacturer shoes. So that's another thing you can try is putting on a new set of those GM shoes, the Chevrolet brake shoes. Also, the other thing I heard is you can remove your shoes and there will be six contact points where those shoes touch on the backing plate. And you can watch any of my brake shoe videos, search Fixbook Drum, or Fixbook Drum Shoes, and you can watch and you'll find these six places here. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. And what they are suggesting is you file them down with 250 grit sandpaper, and so you get the, the point off. I guess there's a point and it makes the, the theory behind this is it makes the shoe stick out too far. I think that's the theory behind the problem here is the shoes are somehow sticking out a bit too far and they're catching on the drum. So what this guy is saying is that you file those points down and then you re-loop it up with disc, disc brake lube or high temperature brake grease. You put them back on those points and then install everything and then your problem goes away. So those are three different options you can do to kind of try and fix where you know you apply the brakes, your back drops, and this, this wheel is locking up. So hopefully I pointed you in the right direction there. So. Uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos, which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, and I will see you then.